Who is cruising back to back? <laughs> San Cristobal. Hands to go ball. Oh, they're opening the back of the ambulance. Thanks, now I got wad real quick. Alright guys, Stagma we bro. Bro. I bet you guys there's tongue sticking out. I do. Look at the views from up here. What, really? Really? Is that what you do right It's a little cloudy, but it is hot. I can tell you that it is very hot today. Yeah, it might rain a little bit if you look over here. You can see some dark clouds, but the sun is also out too. So I think we're going to turn into this little inlet. FYI, any of you would book the balconies this carnival celebration. Look at the view that you might get if you're not careful. It really depends on what state you're going to be booking, but uh, these balconies, they don't actually go all the way up to the edge of the ship. You may actually have a view of your downstairs neighbor. And of course, the minute we pull into port, it is pouring down rain. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but it is pouring. But again, right behind it, you see the sun back there in clear skies. This will only last a few minutes. Oh my, look what we just found. Oh geez. Wait, look, look. Who is cruising back to back? Who is, who is cruising back to back? Uh, is it Captain Billy J? Who's that? What, what, what was he trying it to say? Castillo. Uh-huh, come on. All right, your turn. Castillo, six minutes. Dro. She added a dro in there. Castillo. Because it wasn't enough. Enough to this. Castillo. Come on, you can yeah. do it. You can do it. Yo. No. Yo. Not there Joe. Not there Joe. Yo. <laughs> Castillo. Yo. Joe. <laughs> San Cristobal. Instagram. Instagram. that. Perfect. Perfect. And cut. Here we are, getting off. Off of the. Port at Puerto Rico, San Juan. <laughs> Look at that towel lamp. Uh, it. Looks like that towel lamp and we'll need some, uh, some bleach. <laughs> we are gonna walk to the port. We are with Destination Fun right here. Hi. This is Destination Fun. Check out their channel. Subscribe, like. Hey, we are in, um, we are San Juan, and it's raining. Isn't that great? Got a rainy day in San Juan. Um, we are walking over to, what's the name of this fort? What's it called? Fort San Cristobal. So we are headed over there. I cannot pronounce it. But once we get there, we'll do a little video. And look at this blueberry. Do you like this? I'm wearing Chanel. I forgot. It's Castillo <laughs> San Cristobal. Blueberry. Blueberry. Yeah, blueberry. Yeah, Get we're it? Do you want to see a blueberry? I don't know what the name of the port is. There it is. Guy speaks Spanish. Yeah, so look at the Castillo, blueberry. San Cristobal. Yes. That's and then yeah, we do, we said. have some, we have some Spanish said. speakers <laughs> that will help us translate once we get there. Member of... Hispanic Society of America. <laughs> right? Miembro del Hispanic Society of the real, America. The real history of Madrid. The real history. Hold on, let me get more of it. No, it's Real Academia <laughs> de la Historia de Madrid y la Academia Puerto Ricana de la Lengua Española. It's Academy for, for, uh, for, 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 wait, let me read it again. For the Spanish language. 
Oh, okay. And then uh, on the part is on the San Sebastian Street and the 500 years of the city of San Juan. All right, what does that say right there? The party uh, is, it commemorates 50 years of the party at the San Sebastian Street and the 500 years of the city of San Juan. Oh, okay. These guys. There's more down there. Yeah, they're, they're all over the place. <laughs> Many of them. Z man fireball van very beautiful 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 Sherry had to take her jacket off oh it's so much better you tend to be claustrophobic sure. right hi <laughs> see but on the other side there's the other fork Right. Focus, focus, focus. There you go. So let me zoom it back out. Regular zoom. You guys, that's how far away it is. Beautiful. Look at this. How beautiful this is from the top of the port. Lovely. What do you call this thing? It's like a little observation tower. Yeah, we're in here. It's awesome. Got a little. A little window you can look out and see the ocean. And then, look at that. yeah, and then you peek over to this side and you see the fort. And then you come to this side and you see um, buildings. There you have it. Look at all the here. This is what happens when you're touring with other vloggers. You have to stop every few minutes for pictures and videos. So this is a little of behind the scenes. So if you want to go to the top of the fort, these are the actual hours and prices. Not port, fort. So if you want to go to the top of the fort, these are the prices um, to the top, and they're open nine to five. I don't want to miss a boat. If I miss that, I don't. <laughs> Look how big this place is. Huge courtyard area. Guardians of the Caribbean. Look at that. Ballistic shell. Look, really? Really? Is that what you do right away? Really? <laughs> you, you, you look fabulous. You get my picture? I'm taking video, actually. Look at that. Oh, oh drop coins uh, in there. Look at that. You have this beautiful love. Really? You're taking your selfie over the wagon? No. Oh well, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah. Hold on, I gotta. Default you need wagon. a wide angle. Put it in a wide angle. I did. I'm sure this wagon is Instagram worthy. All the Instagram followers would appreciate. It. Wow. You don't get a sense of how big this place is until you actually step foot in. Oh, look, you can get it with the cruise ship. Yeah, yes, that's the whole thing. <laughs> and look at this view. Oh, I meant this. Alright, hold on. <laughs> Look at the view. Wait, Renee, what did you just say? Canary oh, view. Thanks. Now I got wad real quick. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, it's the other kind of wad, folks. All right, other kind of wad. Not, not the other. We'll we'll add a more explanation in the in the in the description down below. Footnotes. 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 For the censor bureau. <laughs> no, 
What'd she do? She lost a crown. She shot her what? A wad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Whatever that is. Whatever that is. <laughs> Hopefully a money clip. Yes, sir. Rebob. Again, check the footnotes. Check the footnotes. <laughs> we are walking into the Century Box. Come in here. It's at the very end. Get view of the beach. Let's get into this tiny narrow area. I don't know if all of us can get fit in there. Oops, let me show in the camera. Whoop. Oh, yeah, this is narrow. Hold on, I have to adjust a few things. Oh, my God, this is so narrow. This is so narrow. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Oh, and it's starting to rain again. I may have to go into blueberry mode in a second. Look at the views from up here. This is beautiful. Now, if the sun was out, that water would be crystal blue. Look at that. So beautiful. Wow. It's really cool to see. Very beautiful. And then on the other side, you get to see um, more of the port area. They all are in there. We're all in here. This is, my jacket you know what this reminds me of? Like the, ele the elevators in the, ro in the celebration. <laughs> hey. What are you doing? I am dancing in the rain. Looking at the beautiful ocean. Dancing in the rain. Oh boy. She's just happy because she's, she's going to get her mofongo soon. I've been looking at the beach. Oh, it's clear over there, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be over here in a minute. Be over. Do it. Yeah, this is our view for right now. Look at the beach. Beautiful. Look at the sunset. Look at the view. 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 Look at the that's what she's really happy about, yeah. folks. <laughs> Look at this. We are deep down in the tunnel system of the fort. How much money is yeah. You got a van? No. I'm not sure what this is. This is a jail that they put people here to wait for to kill, to be killed. Oh, it's a jail? Oh, it's from the galleons. Oh, wow. That is something. And it is hot and muggy here. No breeze comes in, and the floor is very uneven. God, this tunnel is so long. Look at this cool. Look at that. That's cool. It's an armor. Yeah, we did our. 16th century armor. Wow. Well, then she could detail. I never realized how big this fort is. There's like a museum in the lower floor. All kinds of stuff to look at. Like if you're going to come here, expect to spend, I want to say, maybe around an hour minimum. I mean, it depends if you're into history or not. Um, if you're not into history, then maybe not so much. Maybe you can probably blow past it, you know, under 15, 20 minutes. But besides that, there's just a lot to explore here. You usually get lost. It's huge. This place is pretty huge. All right. The others are waiting for me, so I'm going to work my way back up. But there's just a lot. <laughs> this place is huge. Look. You took a look at this. Authorized employees only. Okay, so I'm not allowed to go in there. Look, I have a little gift store. 
got this lower section here. This is lower. Blast doors. I don't know where this leads. All in all, this, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool place. Uh, you know, like I said, you know, there are some stuff to look at. It's mostly a bunch of old walls and old architecture, but they do have some uh, old style artillery cannons. They uh, they have all kinds of older equipment, uh, you know, suits of armor, stuff like that. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, when it comes to like military history, you'll be you'll have a good time. Not only that, but then you have the amazing view when you go to the top floor. What you think, hon? What you think? Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> <laughs> there it was you go. A fort. It was just like there fort, you go. Fort DeSoto or Fort wherever we have been in St. Augustine. What's up, Fort? Um, yeah, you know you're talking about in St. Augustine. Yeah. It was good. Go. Now I'm yeah. ready to go eat. All right, that's what she's looking forward to. That's what she's been counting down the minutes, the seconds. I want some, a pina colada and some La Fungo. Look at you, you have a plan of attack and everything. So I just, right. I went to the barber shop. Watch your step, hon. I'm talking about your footing. Look at her. I bet she has her tongue sticking out. Right? I do. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I put it back in when you said something. <laughs> it was old style architecture. Maybe slow folks. And look, we're after this right here. Place of the famous Pina Colada. Yeah, it was invented. 1963. Oh yeah, when we walk on together, they said I was that young. But you have been planning, dreaming, dreaming about. Show them, show them the picture. I don't want to touch it. Just clean my hands. There we go, Mofongo, right there. And, and you are minutes away from your 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 life goal of having another mofongo. Yes, I don't remember what we had the last but this time. Is no mofongo, we had the last time. I know, but what kind? For a it's the same kind. It's you know not it doesn't vary that much. But you're gonna have it again. No, I'm talking about that we have chicken. Did we have? Yeah, we had chicken last time. I think I'm gonna do the steak. Steak? Do they have a steak version? Steak. I'm surprised you won't do shrimp. No, it's. I'm going to do the skirt steak glass chorizo. Chorizo. All right. The original pina colada. So let me try it. Caught in the rain? No, it's the original mm. pina colada. Okay. How is it? Pina colada. Oh, that's very creamy. Yeah. I've never been a big fan of pina colada. It definitely tastes like pina colada. You can taste the coconut. You've got to try the original and one. And then it comes with a cherry and then orange. Oh, right here. That's right here. Tastes refreshing. Whoa. Thank you. Look at that. All right, guys. Steak mofongo. This is the steak and chorizo mofongo. I'm having calamar. Really? Nine dollars for this? For the same blood chain? That was nine dollars? No, it was ten dollars. It looks a little different now. Most calamar. Why is mine changed? Look at this right here. Right here. What's up? Five plantain. Five plantain. Sherman Valley. All right, how was it? How is it? Oh, wow. That's good. You've been dreaming about this for since you booked this trip over a year ago. It's good. Let me taste yeah, the chorizo. Mm. You get a fun look. So you guys don't know, mofongo it consists of plantains, and they mash it up, and they pour in lots of butter, lots of garlic, mm -hmm. onions, um, just to really juice it up with all kinds of delicious flavors, and then you can have it with any kind of meat on top, but Sherry got on top of that is steak. Ah, steak? Love. Good? Mm -hmm. Everything to, to your dreams? Yeah. Was it worth it? 
It was, but next time I would definitely do the shrimp. Shrimp? Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised you got steak. I am too. That I thing. Gotten the shrimp. People don't typically order with the steaks, either chicken or or, sh or shrimp. I think I the shrimp. Mm. I would have had like all the butter and the. So that means we have to book another trip to come back here. Uh, <laughs> so I'd try trip. somewhere else, a different restaurant. No. Uh, I think right. this place is known for their pina coladas. Probably, probably. The pina coladas were really good. They were good. They were spot on. There you go. She liked it. That was good. Mission accomplished. I would definitely get the mofongo at a different price. So this is the spot where they usually have the umbrellas covering this entire little alleyway. Um, but... This time around, they took the umbrellas down, and now it's a big pink flag uh, to bring awareness for breast cancer awareness. Miami. It is a... Uh, Zip Pop Miami. It's a popsicle, and then we got the strawberry lime. It comes in a little cute little box like this. Well, that's cool. Well, let's take a bite. Watermelon lime. Mmm. Definitely taste the watermelon in this. Very juicy. It's like real watermelon? Mm hmm It tastes like a frozen real watermelon. And if you look very closely, you can see little seeds, I think, in there. Mm. And the bottom part, I guess, is the lime. There you go. Uh -huh. This was uh, $5.75? Mm-hmm. For a popsicle. Yeah. A little on the pricey side, but still. Pretty good novelty kind of yeah. snack. Yeah. There's the Norwegian Joy, a better shop of the Norwegian Joy, right next to our ship, Carnival Celebration. You can really get a sense of how big these ships are until you're up close and in front of them. How massive they are compared to just all the people going through. You're just looking at it at an angle. I think that's just almost as big, huh? Yeah, it does. It, does. it could be the angle, but they, they, they were saying it's not nearly as big, but it looks like it's just as big. It, yeah, it's massive. Better angle of the ships. Which one's bigger? You tell me. Sorry. This one? <laughs> this one? Did you get that? Yeah, okay, good. Okay. This one here? <laughs> Woo! Did you tilt me out? Look at this ship right here. Oh, yeah. Let me zoom out. There you go. Maybe they, maybe that's Look at that. That was cool for this guy. That's cool. Which one you rather be on? <laughs> and we just came back from the stateroom. I mean, came to the stateroom. A very long walk through Puerto Rico. Look, we got another new friend. Look at that. It's a birdie. Is it a birdie or a dinosaur? They don't do dinosaurs here. Gotta be a bird. Look at the view we have from our balcony of the Norwegian Joy. Now we can do people watching as we watch for stragglers trying to join the ship last minute. Then again, we're assuming that we're gonna leave before that ship. Something's going on over here. We've got the police and we've got an ambulance. Quite sure what happened, but something's going on over here. You can see the interior of the ship. Oh, they're opening the back of the ambulance. There goes the carnival joy. As we leave Puerto Rico. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, I'm at the buffet at the Lido deck and these beef spring rolls, a little bit of a honey glaze on them, they're really good. Oh my God, they're so good. I understand, and if you tell my heart, my aching, breaking heart, it might pull up a this man. So we went to um, the main dining room tonight and I got some shrimp cocktail 
And it looks like Eric B got the spring rolls. Spring rolls. These spring rolls. Which look pretty good. And Rafi got the Caesar salad, which looks good. It does look good. And Darian got the shrimp as well, the shrimp cocktail. He got two. Absolutely. And then we also brought a bottle of wine to share with the table. Let me try tasting the shrimp co cocktail, but I don't think you can really screw this up, but let's try it. Mm, okay. But again, I don't think you can screw up um, shrimp cocktail. So we're going to wait for our food to come and I'll be back. I got the beef tenderloin. I think that's what it's called, right? Is this the beef tenderloin? Yep. I got the beef tenderloin with broccoli and it also has some potatoes and it looks like Eric B got some fried chicken and mashed potatoes and some broccoli and that honestly that fried chicken looks amazing I probably should have gotten that and he got which his name is Rafi he got french fries with his fried chicken I didn't even know you could do that so that looks good and leg of lamb. Darian got the leg of lamb mm. with some potatoes squash. and some squash. You, you know what it says? So how is the um how is the leg of lamb, Darian? <laughs> it's, not, it's not good. It is oh, really good. okay. Yes. That's good to know for next time. It'll make you <laughs> <laughs> How's the fried chicken, Robbie? Wonderful. Oh, he Wonderful. says it's good. I probably should have gotten that because that looks good. Midnight Buffet at the Pig and Anchor. It is, what time is it? Let me see. It is 11.43. And we got ourselves a little midnight snack. Well, close to midnight anyway. Chicago style pizza. I don't know what makes it Chicago style. And some, uh, some uh, chips with uh, cheese. And pico de gallo. Subscribe, smash that like button, and click the notification bell!